for this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Well, God bless you, beloved. We certainly appreciate this opportunity of being able to share with you the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Before I share today, let's pray. God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the love of God. We thank you, O oh God, that you have us in your mind, in your plan, in your purpose. We ask, O oh God, that as this word is shared, that the Spirit of God will minister according to your word and according to your plan. Lord, thou knowest all things, and you, amen, have established that the eyes of the Lord go to and fro in the earth, amen, to show yourself strong in the behalf of of those whose hearts that are toward you. God, as this word is today, even so, let the word of God turn us the more through the Holy Ghost, through the grace of God. And we will give you the glory, and we will say that you have done it. Well, dearly beloved, we're living in awesome times, and we certainly thank God for you as we have started another calendar year 2023 we're grateful for what God is doing i want to note technology technology has soared in ability I can remember when I was a little girl, our telephone was an apparatus that sat on tables or wherever that we wanted to put it. It had two parts, well, really three parts because it was wired. There was a what they call the receiver, then there was the base where all the gadgets I were, I guess, there was a, a rotary wheel where you dialed numbers. Later on, they added the punch uh, part where you could punch in numbers. and But you had to hold the receiver uh, to your ear. You had to talk through that. And then when you got through, you hung up. But now look at what has happened. No wires hanging anywhere. That lets us know something about God. Everything that man uses, regardless of the outcome of the invention, all of the apparatus, the material, the ingredients, and let me add the knowledge, the knowledge. Ability is something that comes from God. You know, many times because people have gone to school and they have sat in classes and they have had great mentors in whatever field that they have uh, decided that they would be an expert in. But nothing is totally of itself. I was sharing uh, not too long ago with some people that when Adam was created, remember at first he was merely a clay man. There was an agreement made between God, the creator, the father, and Christ, his son, who was seated with him. God decided, and they decided, 
God and the Son decided. That was the us. Let us make man. The Christ was a, the other person God was speaking to and agreeing with. Let us make man in our likeness and in our image. Likeness includes a certain degree or a certain amount of ability. Ability. Likeness. Image means form. Form. The image of anything is going to show its form. That's the reason why when Jesus came, he said, when you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Meaning that the Father has form. Head, arms, hands, torso, legs, feet. Heaven is God's throne where he sits. Earth is his footstool. Letting us know that God has feet. The hands of the Lord. The hand of the Lord was upon whoever. Amen. To, to impart that which was on God's mind at that particular time. The eyes of the Lord are in every place. Beholding the good and the evil. The ears of the Lord are open unto his cry of the righteous, unto the cry of the righteous. Yes, his mouth speaks, and the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. We are in the image of God to house the ability. God did something. He created the man to have eyes, ears for hearing, eyes for seeing, nose for smelling, the mouth for taste and speaking. So all of that was in the head. But also there was something else that God created in and put it in the inside of what we call the skull, and that is the brain, the brain. The brain itself is a whole world. It's a whole apparatus. It's a whole uh, house of abilities. The brain. The brain has tentacles. It has it has wires, actually. They're made out of flesh, but all over the brain there are wires. And those wires, according to what biologists say, those wires hold and uh they cause electricity that's in the brain. Water is in the brain. And remember, a lot of times when people have been sick, they give them what's called electrolytes so that their brains can be replenished with the uh, liquid that is needed for the person to be able to function Electrolytes that go into the bloodstream, and from the bloodstream, the blood goes all the way up to the, up to the brain, all over the body. We have a highway of veins in our bodies, and it's something. Oh my God, we're fearfully and wonderfully made. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is because God ordained that man would be 
over the earth. Lucifer lost the complete power. He still has permitted power. But in essence, he is a loser. He lost complete power. Now, he is allowed to do his what he does by permission. Permission. He's permitted to do things. But there is a limit. Because if Lucifer could do everything he wants to do, all of us, particularly the people of God, we'd be dead. <laughs> and more and more and more of the people would be dead because Lucifer, Satan, is a murderer. He's a murderer. The thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill. Lord, have mercy. And to destroy. Lucifer. Many times when you hear of death, it's because Lucifer is at work. Lucifer is at work using the tool of COVID. COVID has spiked again in China. Millions of people in China have died because of COVID. Now, last week, they decide that they're going to travel. Mm-hmm. I have a news article that in 2019 and 20, they did that before. 430-some thousand Chinese left China and went to different parts of the world, including the United States. Now, here they got 20-some thousand that have traveled. And come to find out, and I have the news article concerning that, that a lot of those people are still positive. They still test positive for COVID. So they're spreading COVID again. Well... Sometimes some things happen because of a lack of watchfulness. Now, the people that found out that those Chinese, which a lot of the Chinese people are innocent in their uh, decisions, but they are also pawns and puppets of a communist government that is bent to destroy, bent to rule. Mm -hmm. So now here they have these thousands of people who are carrying a germ that is destructive. Well, I'm going to leave that, but we, but we want to understand God. The earth being God's creation, he gave man to be the authority over it. So People have a responsibility, and one of the responsibilities that people have, and Jesus instructed, watch, watch. We're supposed to watch, watch, find out, and watch, know, and watch, watch. And there are different ways people can watch, not only with their eyes, but their instruments. You can watch with a telescope. You can watch from a satellite. Excuse me, there are different ways that people can watch. Thank God for those that were watching and stopped those people that still had COVID and sent them probably back to where they came from. <laughs> All right. So now, uh, here we are, 2023. Awesome technology. Powerful stuff that we can hold with one hand and be all over the world. And that's the way that the Antichrist is going to rule. He's going to rule by way of the technology. And by the time that he appears, it's going to be even more advanced than it is. Because people are working every day to find new ways, more powerful and faster ways to get their word out 
And uh, thank God we can take advantage of what's being done and we can get God's word out. (laughs) Amen. As we are moving forward, and let me encourage you to do that, move forward. Set your mind to do according to the will of God, of course. But have a goal that's going to be greater than what you accomplished in 2022. Some years ago, there was a goal that was set before me, and we have not accomplished that yet. We're over halfway of accomplishing it, but we haven't accomplished it totally. Somebody said, well, what is that? Well, we set our ministry goal to reach I didn't say a million people would get saved, but to reach a million people. And with our ministry uh, ability, and God has blessed us to have uh, technology at our uh, disposal. We're able to use technology, and I give God the glory for that. And our ability, since that was spoken, to reach a million people, God has opened two doors for us that we can go worldwide. One of them is through Now TV Network that goes all over the world, even and includes satellite that reaches parts of the world, Africa, Asia, and different parts of the world that we cannot uh, normally reach. We couldn't normally reach it, but God opened that door for us. Now we have one of our access stations that has added, They the access station has been added to a worldwide cable station. Isn't God awesome? And we have been on that access station since 1993. God has given us favor. Amen. And uh, we're launching information through that station that will help us to do the will of God in the earth realm. And you'll be getting more information about that very soon. So what is being said? We have a responsibility. Jesus said something. Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth. Salt. We're the preserving power of the earth. Preserver is like a protection also. When Jesus taught the disciples how to pray, that was included. The will of God is a protection. I'm going to say it again. The will of God is a protection. Now, because of decisions being made by heads of state, some of our protection has been lifted. And things are happening in the United States back to back. Storms are taking as never before. There are ravages. Other things are happening. So we want to understand, but Jesus taught the uh, the people how to pray, and that teaching is eternally good. We're to pray, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. That's our responsibility, to establish through prayer the will of of God. Mm -hmm. As a believer, as a follower of Jesus Christ, we have a mandate to say the word of God and to pray the will of God into the earth realm. Yeah, Jesus said, you are my witnesses. We're to tell people to say what God wants. 
God told Israel that he were, they were his witnesses to tell people what God wants and to live a man out what God wants. And God would display, God displayed his ability and his power through Israel. And God displays his power, amen, through the church. So that's our responsibility as being a part of the preserving power in the earth realm to pray the will of God be done. Pray for men and women in authority. Be the intercessor and when it's necessary, the interceptor. Both. There are times we have to intercept things. You know, in Bible times, when uh, things were so that a king that loved God needed help, he would get with the prophet and they would pray until God would move in their behalf. And sometimes the way that uh, the people that God uh, moved in the behalf of the people, he sent an angel to help. And there's nothing wrong with us asking God, Lord, send an angel. Amen. And someday the Lord is going to bless me and lead me to teach concerning angels. Because all of them are not the same and all of them don't have the same purpose. But as the salt of the earth, we can ask for the assistance of angels. We pray now, God, your will be done in earth where we are. Regardless of where we are all over the earth realm, God, your will be done. Violence filling the earth is the fulfillment of prophecy. Jesus said, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. And one of the signs that is being fulfilled, violence is filling the earth. Let me say this concerning violence. Many times, violence is constructed. There are people that specialize in producing violence. And I'm going to give you a three-letter word that those people specialize in violence. And that's the mob. Now, there are two types of mobs, particularly. There's the mob when people get together and in confusion they are doing something against something. Then there's another definition of mob. And may I add, there there are times when this particular mob that I'm going to describe can be spelled with a capital M, capital M-O-B. You know why? Because they are an established, functioning entity in the world. They have tentacles that reach into cities, into neighborhoods, sometimes into homes, into businesses. And let me tell you, if they're in cities... If they're in towns, if they're in homes, if they're in businesses, <laughs> don't think they skipped government. Well, praise him. Amen. Tentacles. Influence. The mob. The mob are money mongers. And if they are money mongers, they have money to spend to get what they want done. And if they're spending to get what they want done, don't think that our brown and black boys and girls just look over that. Mm -mm. Because some of them 
They skip school so that they would be able to get what they need and want legally. So what do they do? Some of them have lined up with people that are money mongers. Mm -hmm. How you know? Ye shall know the tree by the fruit it bears. If they're not going to work legally, honestly, they get money from somewhere. And no, I'm sure they're not printing it and got the right paper themselves. They're spending money buying cars and whatever else they buy. So here we have an established power that in certain cities they are have expressed their power. And one thing they specialize in is killing people. Killing people. Kill people that are in their way for whatever reason. And then sometimes they kill people as a favor to others. They get paid. Nobody keeps killing for free. No, 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 no. Nobody. Nobody volunteers to put their life on the line free. No, they're going to get something. Some dollars. And it ain't going to be one or two either. People are paid to kill. They're paid to shoot. And I mean, you know, if guns are being collected by the hundreds and by the thousands, that these people don't have no gun factories. <laughs> okay, praise God. So therefore, we thank God that prayer is of an essence as never before. And now we're getting ready for a possible changing of the guards in different cities. And we certainly want to pray. We want to also watch. And we want to be mindful that God expects for the salt to be salty. God wants the salt to be as it is supposed to be. We're to preserve. And one thing we want to do is to be able to preserve life. We want to be able to protect life. We want to be able to have people live their lives in peace, in harmony, in prosperity. And the enemies to peace, the enemy to, to harmony, the enemies to prosperity. Mm -mm. We don't need those people doing anything. No. Praise God. God is the establisher of peace. That's one thing that the angel said when Jesus was born. Peace on earth <laughs> and goodwill toward men. People that break the peace, no. Amen. They're not supposed to be in power. So it is a part of our responsibility. And there are different ways that that can be done. That the peace can be kept. That the peace can be reestablished where the people of God and people, not only the people of God, but just people, can get up and reestablish peace. But it's one thing about people. Without leadership, there's confusion. You got to have leadership. And that's what we're praising God. Let leaders that know the how and the what and the when be raised that your will can be done in earth. Amen. I'm going to pray now. If you want Jesus, ask him, say, Lord, forgive me for my sins and come into my heart. Be Help me to be what you want me to be. And he will do that. Let's pray. God, in the name of Jesus, I lose your power upon every hearer. And your will be done in their lives. 
those, O oh God, that need to be saved. I lose conviction power on them in the name of Jesus. God, that they will ever walk with you, that they will do what you want them to do in the name of Jesus. And we are giving you the glory and we will say that you have done it. Now, beloved, as I'm about to stop, I'm going to ask you, give to this ministry. Give. God will bless you for giving. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Give. You can give by way of cash out, dollar sign, Apostle Jean Morris Men, which is short for ministries. Zell, A P O S T L E J M at Gmail dot com. Zell at Apostle Jean. Uh, I'm sorry, at Apostle J M at Gmail dot com. That is our Zell, Amen address. God will bless you for supporting this ministry. Giving God all the glory. He has made this ministry what he had purpose for it to be. On the onset of my salvation, God had ordained that this ministry would cover the earth. And even so is it now. We need your help. I need your help to continue. I need your partnership, partner with this ministry. Meaning that as you support, amen, God will bless you as if you were right here with me sitting, amen, and standing or whatever, or wherever I go, partner with this ministry, and God will bless you for it. All right. Love you now. Saints, stay encouraged. God bless you.